Bonjour tout le monde, how you doing today? Welcome back to A La Parisienne with me, Farah. I'm so happy to have you guys back here again. For today's video, we're going to be talking about how to style pink. So without further ado, let's get right into this video and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so how this idea came about is I saw Emily in Paris and she is wearing a, like a whole pink outfit and it was kind of very excruciating for me to watch the styling and I mean I could just go on about this there's so many videos on the internet about this but um, and also I mentioned it in my Emily in Paris um, like video that I made of my opinion so you can go check that out if you want details um, and I know that being an American in Paris, maybe you want to, or she wanted to rather, not everyone, but she wanted to express like her style and her interpretation of like being like avant-garde, not haute couture. In Paris was like, it was, it was done in an extreme way. So, but anyway, I took him, um, inspiration from that and I was like started to think of the ways I wear pink and I was like let's um, make a video for you because it could be fun to explore like different ways so I did an order I did a Zara order and I got a whole bunch of pink things and that's what you'll be like seeing most of the tops that I'm wearing including this one is from Zara and um, you can find obviously all over the high street and pink is such a prevalent color um, and my tip to wear pink would be to find the tones of pink that obviously match your complexion your skin tone so like work with um, what you have um, and like your hair color it for me being like olive skin toned, um, dusty pink. Dusty pinks really look good and I've explored a little uh, of a brighter pink, a brighter like bubblegum pink, strawberry a pink, but like I usually go for like this dusty rose and uh, on, the, on the tones of mauve, you know? and like brownish pinks really work for me. The first look I'm styling for you is um, with this floral shirt. And this one actually is not from Zara. I need to put the, I'll put the name, all the, all the outfits in the description box for you and um, try to link some, if I can find these pieces, I'll, I'll link them for you, okay? So the floral, uh, it's like a floral shirt and it really reminds me of the, the 70s and I really love the color. So the pink is really like popping and so is the orange, but I really love this combination because it's mixed with black and white. So what I did was I just paired it with some leather pants, my go-to leather pants I really, really love and um, some white boots, one well, white knee-high boots, uh, which uh, look fabulous and these are also a new investment and I, I actually think it's a really really good investment to make like once you have you know your black boot, your booty, your brown boots, um, this is like something that I've been thinking of doing for a while and um, with, I have so many like items in my wardrobe which are white and cream so obviously you have to look at your wardrobe and see what colors are in your wardrobe and what matches. But I think if you have a lot of, you know, like neutrals and whites and beiges and creams, a white, a white boot could look so beautiful with the rest of it. So I wear that and I use this backpack um, from Guess, it's circa 1990. So it's very, very like or circa 1990s or 2000 because it's so, yeah, it's so old and I, I absolutely love it. It's, it's fabulous and um, I remember being gifted this when I was like 12 or 13 
So it's from back in the day and uh, I, back then it was just like way too advanced of a fashion item for me but I was fascinated by it. I'm like wow this is a, you know it's cool I just didn't know how to wear it so here I am rocking it um, and yeah I think it's it's really fun and you could also wear it you know obviously over your shoulder in different ways because of the straps so now let's go on to look number two that is the um, I wore this pink tank top from Zara it's a baby pink usually I haven't yet um, experimented a lot with baby pink the only time I wore baby pink was actually this like backpack um, that I wore and I was just really attracted to the color so I I tiptoed into the realm of baby pink and actually that looked quite nice so I thought okay this time I'm going to try a um, a full-on like a top and that's a good tip actually so if if you are if you're unsure about a color on you, you can just try out um, the color with an accessory. So try like a, a little bag or um, a pe like a scarf in your hair or you know something something small like that that you can see how the color blends with your complexion and see if it works. And if it works, then you can try out um, the clothes and it looks so great. Yeah. And so yeah, that would be some a way to do that. So yeah, I kept the leather pants. I just changed the top basically, and I kept the rest of the outfit the same. I just took off the backpack. I added this jacket, which I truly, truly love. I love the the shoulders and how they like puff out and they're like structured like that. Um, it just gives like a, another edge to. The outfit I think rather than just being you know like a normal blazer it's just like a little pop of fashion and then I just belted it with a black belt and so voila there you go look number two look number three I wanted to try shorts uh, for autumn um, full disclosure I have not never worn shorts in autumn I've worn skirts uh, I've never worn shorts so I'm, I'm from Thailand and I've been actually discovering how to dress for autumn and winter these past three years living in Paris, so um, it's been fun. So this, this year I was like, you know what, I want to try shorts. So I took, got these black shorts and I just wore some tights under them. I, I chose fishnets, you can choose obviously. Uh, nice uh, transparent tights that also would look really cute and I just kept the pink top I I just added I added um, black booties I changed the white boots for, for these black booties and I popped on this leather shirt which is like um, it's called a shacket I believe <laughs> just kind of strange to me it's like a shirt plus a jacket. So it's like this new trend uh, apparently, which I didn't even know the name of till like this morning. So there you go, good good timing. And uh, yeah, so I just popped on this uh, shirt and I think it looks really cool. It gives it an edge, you know, to the whole look, um, which I really like to do. I like to give like a little edge to my look. I think it's one of my style elements. And then I just um, wore this black and white purse from Kenneth Cole, and yeah, there's my look. So look number four is this light pink tank top. Again, I'm kind of obsessed. And then I, I popped on an oversized uh, pinstripe shirt. So I really, really love pieces like this because they're so um, versatile and um, you could wear this even like tucked into pants, the shirt. You could wear it as a like a cover uh, piece. You could wear it even in the summer. You could wear it on its own with a belt. And so uh, it's really versatile. And I really, really love those kind of pieces. I paired it with my white corduroy pants from one of my favorite brands in Paris. One of my favorite shops called Frankie NYC. And 
I think it's time for me to get a new piece from them because I've been really, really craving to go back and I've just been holding out, holding out, um, may maybe to treat myself to the end of 2020. But anyway, check them out. They're really, really cool. Frankie NYC, if you're in Paris, I love, love, love the store. And then I just put on my white sneakers and uh, here's the look. I added a grey purse for some contrast and voila, I hope you like it. And lastly, look number five. So we have a pink top, the, the bright one, uh, which I, I told you about that I tried. Strawberry bubble pink. Wow. Uh, I do know that this color works on me. I've worn it in the past. I just don't wear it too often because I, f I feel like it's so, you know, like way, 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 way out there. But I do really like and I appreciate the color and I do know that it works for me. So that's why I'm rocking it here. And it's like a, like a little ruffle sleeve, which is actually really, really flattering surprisingly flattering <laughs> and I really liked it and I kept the white corduroy pants um, I added a pink metallic sh purse from YSL which is just to change up the color palette a little bit and because it's a different kind of pink it's it's not as cohesive and I think that's nice to like bring a little pop but not of a different color and keeping within the pink theme yet a really really completely different shade because it's more like a magenta metallic than a bubblegum pink you know what i mean and so yeah like that and then i wore this um just this one of my checkered jackets from zara just i popped it over the shoulder um and this gived it gave gived it goodness gracious gave it a very cool like effortless chic kind of look and yeah i really like this look finally um and there concludes my looks so i really really hope you enjoyed this like pink inspired video let me know which one is your favorite look please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it i'd really appreciate that thank you very much and if you're new to my channel join us uh, the channel is growing and our community is growing and i'm so thrilled to have you here and um, i make a lot of fashion content i talk about trends and there's also a lot of videos about my life and my life in paris and kind of like more reflective videos and so yeah this channel is kind of also like I love to talk about trends and everything because I'm a fashion stylist and style consultant but I also love this channel to be kind of a journal of my life here and my journey so far so if that sounds good to you then join the family I would love to have you here and I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you're all well and stay safe out there Bisous, ciao